Hey Realme fans in Latin America, I'm Mario, the digital manager of Realme Mexico. And I, today I have the amazing opportunity of having with us uh, Madhav Set, which is the VP of Realme and president of uh, Realme International Business Group. Madhav, how are you today? Muy bien, gracias. Thank you everyone for your warm welcome here in Mexico and for the great expectations of this recording in the Latin American community. I hope that in the near future, I can meet you all in person. That's great, Madhav. Thank you for being here. Uh, I want to tell you these questions come, you know, from people in social media from all around Latin America. But for this opportunity, we want to make it different. We make it spicy. So we ask them to give us better questions, more original ones, and we select the better for you. Are you ready? Always ready. Let's great. go. Great. So the first question comes from Jess Parra from Colombia. He says, uh, what is Realme doing, you know, for keep their customers happy? Our customers are the most important thing. They are the key element of Realme. More than customers, they are the part of a big community. They are family. I know in Latin culture, family means huge and the same we are in Realme. One of the core values of us as a brand is to take care of our family. We want them to be happy when using all the Realme products. A very good news I want to share here is that starting from 2022, we will introduce all our series to Latin American, including our number series and C series. You can also expect our GT series and Nazo series this year. Realme is focused on providing the best possible smartphones for the specific market segments, creating unbeatable value in the market and providing the best of the experiences. As you are aware, Madhav, our fans in Latin America, you know, always want the best products, the best technology. So this is not a question for, you know, one person in Mexico. This comes from Mexico, Colombia, Brazil, Chile and Peru. When is Latin America getting all the biggest launches of Realme in these markets? I'm happy to see that fans are very well informed on what we are doing in other parts of the world and that they have a great expectations on our flagship products becoming available in the region. It won't be too long. Latin market is our key strategic market in 2022. Hence, besides bringing all the flagship products to the Latin America, we also have a very big improvement, which is to shorten the gap of the global launch between the global products. It means that you can buy these products locally in a very short time after the global launch event. I think our fans will be happy to hear about this. That's amazing. Well, recently, we have the launching of the 99 here in Mexico. And also, we had the amazing news that the 9 Pro Plus will come to, to Latin America, not only Mexico. So, first of all, what can we expect from this, you know, new device and also when it will arrive? Yes, we'll bring it soon. And I'm very happy to share that the Realme 9 Pro Plus will be the mid-range 5G camera flagship smartphone in the segment. As you are aware, of our objective is to democratize cutting-edge features and performance to more accessible segments through our number series. It will have all the Realme core features. A 50 megapixel OIS camera with an integrated Sony IMX766 sensor that will allow consumers to take great pictures even in the low light conditions. OIS is available only in the ultimate flagships before. Now we are bringing it to the mid ranges. Flagship level performance thanks to the MediaTek Dimensity 920 5G processor, an amazing and differentiated light shift design, light and thin body of only 7.9 mm, fast charging of 60 watts. I know that our users can't wait anymore. So I'm happy to announce that the launch for the Realme 9 Pro Plus will be at the end of the March. In just three weeks, you will be able to experience the 9 Pro Plus yourselves. Wow, you've heard this news and from the man himself. Thanks, Madhav, for this amazing news. Well, I need to ask you, you know, um, Alex Alfa from Mexico wants to know which challenge have you faced uh, entering each market here in Latin America? Launching a brand seems always a hard and a challenging task. But as long as you understand the market's own dynamics and build trust among consumers and the potential partners, then only you have to wait for some time and the results will automatically be seen. That's how Realme has become the top five brands in more than 30 markets in its three years of its journey. Thankfully enough, we have an amazing team across the region who have a lot of experience in each one of their markets. I'm sure that with their help, and the quality of our cutting edge products as well as the right channel product pricing strategy will be able to achieve our goal of becoming the fifth brand in the whole region in 2022 for sure. Great, and we all know, you know, we recently also launched globally the GT2 Pro, which was a statement not only in sustainability, but also with bio-based materials. And you know, it's a great mobile device for the people. But 
Carlos Ruiz from Colombia wants to know, um, you know, when other brands are already taking out charger mobiles and stuff, why does Realme keep putting their chargers on the devices that we are selling? And also, what actions are we doing to keep the plant happy, you know, to keep the environment? Very good question, Carlos. What Realme believes is to help the environment doesn't necessarily mean you have to remove the chargers. As I just mentioned in the previous question, user experience is our top priority. In the case of advocating environmental protection, we have reduced many unnecessary waste from all the aspects of the user environmental friendly materials. That's Realme's understanding and contribution to the society. GT2 Pro is the first smartphone to use a bipolymer for its entire rear panel, reducing carbon emissions from its manufacturing by 35.5%. That's a reduction of over one third. Right from the production line, we have cut down on its carbon footprint. However, chargers are an indispensable part of our daily life in smartphone usage. And attaching a charger for Realme is essential. Every brand takes a best balance decision for ESG and we respect that decision. When you want to taste the beauty of the fast charging features, the best recommendation is to always use an original Realme charger. In this way, the quality and the integrity of the device will not be compromised. That is why all the Realme smartphones comes with a charger. Preserving the planet is a challenge for all of us and as a part of our innovation process, we decided to focus on the creation and the implementation of the eco-friendly materials. That is why the GT2 Pro 5G features an eco-friendly biopolymer material on its back cover, the first in the mobile industry. The feel on the body can be referenced to the textured paper feel. We can call this a paper tech master design. So the next question comes from Chile, from Francis Drake, which wants to know if, you know, Realme is just a smartphone brand or is gonna bring more IoT products in the future? Inside our AIoT line in Chile, we already have the Bird's Eye 2 Neo and the Watch 2 Pro, and both have been very well accepted. Same in other countries in the Latin American market. We have created Realme Tech Life, an ecosystem that has the mission of creating a smarter, more connected lifestyle and providing consumers with more trendy choices. With the support of our OnePlus 5 Plus 3 product portfolios, we are constantly working to expand our product portfolio. And in the near future, we will see more new Realme products become available in the region under the Realme Tech Life portfolio. But in 2022, we will still focus on the smartphones as a hub. But feel free to tell us what you want us to bring here in the community. You know, fans, if you want any more IoTs, you can ask for them. But, you know, other of the biggest questions that come from all around the continent is when is Realme going to open their own stores? We have just landed last year in the region and we are focusing on understanding consumers in each market. Also, our commercial teams are working very hard to partner with the right sales channel and are doing an amazing job. As you know, we would like to work at a very fast pace to reach our goals. But this must be done in a strategic way, one step at a time. We do see our own stores in the future operating across the region with the objective of current and the future fans experiencing our amazing products firsthand. So when we are ready for this, we will let you all know about that. Thank you, madam, for sharing this. I, I'm pretty sure that the fans are eager to have the experience of living in a Realme store. Many fans here in Latin America are very eager to know if we are going to have a community app like they have in India or other countries. We will evaluate it to see how it can work here in the near future. But until then, you already have a great communication channel to connect to each other through the official Facebook groups of each country across the region. And I'm also thrilled to share good news. We started our Spanish community recently. Okay, that's great news. And I, I want to know more about that a little later. But uh, we're getting very close to the end of this first Ask Mad of Latin America. We saved a couple of tough questions for you. So are you ready? Sure. Okay, Felipe Abrao from Brazil wants to know, uh, you know, if the new updates one day will come directly from us instead of waiting in, in the OTA, you know, way of having the updates. That's an important question. First, we are happy to inform you that we have extended our maintenance of security updates to three years to map the increasing smartphone upgrade circle and ensure the best experience for the Realme users. For any new updates, we suggest fans to wait for the OTA since it's easier, safer and 100% compatible. Our programmers and engineers need to obtain enough feedback from local users first then optimize according to at their best effort basis. 
Updates will continue to be released based on this protocol and we will let our users know it has become available in the region through our communication channels including direct notifications on the smartphone also known as system updates. Thank you Madam for sharing this and I'm pretty sure that people will want to leave the experience of the Realme stores very soon. So Giovanni from Mexico wants to know something that I think that you will better answer more than anyone. Which was the story of Realme? How is Realme born? Back in 2018, when we saw there were a lot of brands, but there were very few brands who were, complete, who were having a price range from an opening price point or entry-level smartphones to the higher smartphones. There were very few brands who were doing that. At the same point of time, there were very few brands in online where people were searching for it and they were able to get the best of the specs and the price ratio according to the current scenarios. Because of this, we decided that why cannot we give more choices to the users? And I think that was one of the biggest reasons why Realme was bought. That's amazing. And well, I think that I speak for all the community that we all thank you for the birth of Realme because it's a great brand. Okay, Mada, final question. And maybe the most original of all. Our friend Machete Ramirez from Mexico wants to know, in a live or die scenario, which Realme phone will you choose to save your life and why? Probably I'm not a hardcore gamer but I would love to not compromise on my performance of day-to-day -day life, at the same time the charging speed. So for me, uh, Realme's charging technology is extremely addictive. So hence I would choose maybe GTME or any of the version which gives me a fast charging solutions because that gives me a complete peace of mind. Well, this is all for this edition, the first edition of Ask My Dive Latin America. And last uh, but not least, I want to remind you, we have now a Spanish community here in Realme so you can join at c.realme.com or you can look it up, you know, down in the comments box to know the full URL and share us your opinions, your suggestions and also your future questions for Madab. So Madab, thank you for this opportunity. Goodbye to all the people. Do you want to say something in Spanish? Yes, definitely for our Spanish community. Definitely I would like to drop a message. Muchas gracias a todos por sus preguntas. Esta ha sido una gran experiencia. Nos vemos pronto. Thank you, Madam. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Real me, dare to leap.